Active Member 360 login. We're going to create a login page, dashboard, password change, and logout for people who are using Active Member 360. To do so, we'll, we'll want to create a membership inside your WordPress account. We're going to create pages, five of them, and then we're going to create a custom menu to display links to those pages. And then one piece of advice, if you take away nothing from this whole presentation, my recommendation is use the default conditions in WordPress as much as possible when doing this. You're going to save yourself a lot of heartache and grief if you take that into, my, into account. So let's dive right in. Here's my WordPress site we're working with. Very basic. It's got the default theme, nothing fancy about it. If I go into the dashboard here, Notice the only thing I have for plugins right now is Active Member 360. And I realize that might not be possible. You might be adding on to a current WordPress site. Um, one thing to consider disabling is, for instance, the caching type plugins. Those can wreak havoc when you're trying to test things out to make sure it works. And if possible, try and use the default theme or a very simple one that doesn't have kind of page builders where it takes over WordPress's built-in capabilities. Um, so again, as much as possible, use the default conditions. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create five different pages. We're going to need to come back to a few of them. So let's go ahead and go to pages. I'm going to go ahead and call this one. First one's going to be my login. And whenever you do anything with Active Member 360 short codes, you're going to want to use the text mode editor, not the visual, because you want to be able to do something like this. So in this case, it's going to present a login form, and then it's going to redirect to a certain page. And we're going to come back and change that. Also on this page, we're going to want to have a link to a password reset or password send page. Now, this form is built in with Active Member 360 and it only works for people who are who have a password stored in Active Campaign and they're not administrators. That's kind of a safety feature. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to leave this blank for now, but that's going to be a certain page and I'm going to say password send. Or you can say something like password forget and I'll wrap paragraph tags around that. So that's one page we're going to do. And then let's do the password send page. So this is the second one. And again, in text mode, we're going to paste in this short code. Go ahead and publish that. We're going to create a new one. And this is going to be called dashboard. It can be anything you want, but this is really where you want to present the content that they have access to. So you're going to want to use page protection. And we'll come back here in a moment to do this, but this is where your content goes. Now, another page you want to create is one called Password Change. And we only want people who are logged in to be able to see this. I want to paste in that short code. Here's one other little tip that you might find useful. These little tick marks or single quotes, make sure they're in this format. Don't, don't have them you know, copy pasted from like a Word document. It might have the, uh, quotes that are in a weird format. So just be careful. I know this sounds trivial, but go ahead and like delete it and put the little single tick, which is typically near the return button. And then go ahead and publish that guy. And then the final page we're going to create is one called log out. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. I don't know where it's going to go just yet. But we will come back here and fix that. So I've got five pages in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a custom menu. Let's just call it custom. Go ahead and create that menu. And I'm going to add all of these links, probably this one first. Well, let's just copy them all, click them all, add to menu. 
Login's gonna go first, dashboard's gonna go second. I don't want a sub menu, I don't I want this guy last. Okay, and I'm gonna make this like the top menu. Go ahead and save that menu right now. So let's take a look at some of our pages right now. Let's go to my login. There's the password send link. Okay, so inside um, now let's create a membership that we're gonna use. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I've got one user in here, this guy with this password, with this specific tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a membership. It's gonna be based only off of that tag. I'm not gonna worry about this right now. Let's call it my membership. And on login, we wanna send them to the dashboard. On logout, we want to send them to my login page. So go ahead and create that. Now, we're gonna to have to go back through some of our pages and let's take a look. So this is only going to show up when somebody's logged in. That's why I only saw password send button. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that. And this is my login. Oh, sorry, this is the redirect. So where do I want? I want it to go to the dashboard. So in theory, this is not needed. In my opinion, not a bad idea to um, just hard code that in there. So if you really want to force it, so I am going to force it. So let's go ahead and view that. Let's copy that link. Go back here, paste that in. So I'm basically overriding what I've set as a default. So in theory, this is not required, but I wanna show you that as a possibility. Okay, and the logout page, I really want to come back to here. So let's go here, let's go to the edit the logout page. And we are going to paste that in there. We're gonna go ahead and update that. Now, two of these pages, I want to only show when somebody is logged in. So let's do the dashboard page. So I'm gonna go ahead here. And, whoops, doesn't look like I've updated that. Did I not create that membership? All right, let's do a do-over. So let's do this, call it my membership. And default on login is my dashboard. On log out, I want it to go back to my login page. So let's save that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and protect this one, my membership. And let's also do password change. Okay, so um, I'm gonna log out because I don't, I don't wanna look at these pages as the administrator and we'll verify that they're working as expected. So let's go ahead and log out. And you're gonna wanna send your, your user, your member to my-login. So notice there's a form there it shows um, the login form, plus it has this password send page, the send link. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type in the email address. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Content goes here, dashboard page shows up, password change shows up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this guy. And I can go ahead and change that password if I want. If I want to do a password send, I would do this. Let me just log out again real quick. Password send, and I could type that in. So that's how you set up a login page for Active Member 360.